Well guys, if you have a Core Ultra 9 285K or really any one of the new Core Ultra 9 CPUs and you want to get more performance out of it while at the same time dramatically reducing the temperature even though these CPUs already run quite a bit lower compared to previous gen and also reduce the power consumption and make your system quieter. All at the same time, the solution is undervolting and here today at the Motor I'm going to show you guys how to do that in a quick and simple tutorial which literally any single one of you can do. Before we get started, a few disclaimers. So first of all, this is gonna work no matter your motherboard. So today I have an MSI Edge Z890 motherboard, but this is gonna work literally on any brand, Asus, Gigabyte, ASRock, doesn't matter, any single one of them, even Biostar or the less popular ones. And this is gonna work no matter your cooler, and literally nothing matters. The only thing that matters is you have this exact CPU. If you have a different CPUs, go on my channel. I probably have a tutorial for your other CPU too because the goal on my channel is to slowly cover every single CPU and GPU on the market and show you guys how to get more performance and make them run better. This tutorial would be the best if complemented by a DDR5 overclocking tutorial, which I have. It's on the channel, I will put it up here. You can go check that one out after as well. The only thing I ask you guys is if the video ends up being helpful, you will drop a like and subscribe, but in the end, after the video and after you tried it. Okay, so with that said, let's go into the BIOS. Let's start tuning. Here we are in the BIOS. Now, if you have a different motherboard vendor compared to MSI, your BIOS will be slightly different, but the settings are all gonna be there. They're just gonna be called a little bit different. And I will try to tell you guys how they're called. So first step is we need to go into the advanced mode, which on my motherboard you do by pressing F7. And now we wanna go into the overclocking tab, which if you have a different motherboard, may be called something like AI tuning, overclocking, AI overclocking, performance, something along these lines. Once we are here, we wanna go all the way down and the first thing we want to do, which is very important, even though it is not specifically undervolting related, is we want to find our extreme memory profile, the XMP, and put this on enabled or profile one, okay? Now this is key to making your CPU run well, but this is not related to undervolting. So you need to test this out separately, okay? Test this out and then come back and go on with tutorial because you need to find that this is stable for you because it's an overclock, it's not guaranteed, etc. Let's go on with the actual undervolting. You want to go all the way down until we find something that's called CPU core voltage. In my case, it's called VCC core voltage, but uh, what you need to search for is core voltage or vCore or something along these lines. Again, I try to tell you all the naming uh, if I can. Now, what we want to do is actually go over the core voltage and we want to put it on offset mode. And then we want to select the minus sign as our mode because we're going to apply a negative offset. Now, which offset are we going to apply? Well, we're going to apply a 0 0.05 offset. And now we want to apply the same offset which we put here. This is key. We want to put it in the CPU core voltage. So VCC core voltage and CPU core voltage, not in the ring voltage. Get this right. It's the only thing. So we want to do all P cores and E cores, and we want to go into offset mode. And now we want to put minus again. And then we want to put 0.05 again. And this is what we're working with. If you want to just copy some settings and like close the tutorial quickly, and you're doing this just for temperature and power consumption and not for performance, this is basically where the tutorial ends. So what you need to do now is go in the windows and test out if this is stable. Now, if this is not stable, you want to reduce the offset. So if you're very unlucky, you want to go down a little bit, all the way down until 0.03 on both. Okay, and now this is gonna work even on the worst CPU out there, literally. But if you're very lucky, on the other hand, and the 0.05 is working for you, you may wanna go higher because the higher this number, the lower your temperature is gonna be. So this is very important. So I find lucky CPUs on average can do 0.075, but if you're very lucky, and I mean like really, really lucky, maybe able to go up to 0.1, but uh, I've never tried yet a CPU that can do this stable. So this is it. And now you could close the tutorial, drop a like and subscribe technically. But if you also want to get more performance out of this, there is another very important setting. And we want to go all the way up until we find the performance preset. Depending on your motherboard again, this is going to have a different name, but you can recognize it because the setting is going to be called Intel default settings. And now this, 
basically changes your power limit. And uh, if you have a very good cooler, you want to put the maximum, like this one, MSI Unlimited. But uh, if you have like a decent cooler, I would recommend putting performance setting and decent cooler for a 99 like this would be a good 240 millimeters all in one or a high end air cooler. If you have a very good cooler, go extreme and extreme would be a good 360 millimeters water cooler. And uh, for the unlimited, you need like a very, very good 360 water cooler or possibly a 420 millimeters water cooler would be ideal for this setting to work. This is gonna dramatically change how your CPU behaves, but uh, in case you don't have this preset, you see these numbers over there? So PL1, PL2, and CL. Those are your power limits and current limits, and we can actually put them in manually. By going into the advanced CPU configuration setting, we go into here, and then we have the long duration power limit, long duration maintained, short duration power limit, etc. So how you do this is you go here, and if you wanna unlock it, you just put all nines and just unlock this to the maximum just like this and this will be the unlimited preset if you want to just copy for example you have let's say a 240 millimeters water cooler you put 250 250 and unlock these two because current is going to be limited by watts so it's no point and uh, just like doing this you basically did the same settings and now we are done for the performance but we are not done yet because there's one last thing you can do and that is do a static undervolt. Now static would be like we used to do back in the day, you know, when there wasn't curves on CPUs and stuff. Well, to do that, you need to not do any of what we've done before, like literally zero. You need to go into the BIOS, enable the XMP. So the first thing we did, tune your performance preset accordingly, like we've just done, but then we go and change our PICO ratio and ECO ratio. We are gonna start with a static preset for efficiency so to lower your temperature lower your power consumption etc so for that you want to put 54 here but this is gonna reduce your performance slightly okay and if you want to really 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 maintain it you should put 55 but uh, the efficiency point is better at 54 okay and then on the eco ratio here we want to put 46 which are basically the stock frequencies but now they're locked and now we want to go all the way down and what we want to do right now is do not put an offset on the VCC, so put this one on auto, but still put a dynamic offset on P cores and E cores and put minus 0.1 on the P cores and offset minus 0.075 on the E cores. Now again, same thing, you should test this out and maybe go a bit higher or a bit lower depending on how lucky you are. The ranges here are around 0.075 if you're very unlucky and 0.05 if you're very unlucky, and then if you're very lucky, 0.1 here, and even 1.25 here, I've seen stable. This is the static P core and E core, but dynamic voltage. We can also go just full static, and to do that, we go on the apply mode, and we go override. So we put override on both the P core and E cores, and now the override voltages, which are gonna work easily, is 1.125 for our P core and for our E cores 1.05. Now again, very important, you need to test this out. This is just a recommendation. So you may have to go to 1.15 and even to 1.175 if you're really unlucky. And here you may have to go to 1.175, but realistically you can go all the way to one volt if you are a bit lucky, okay? This is not over yet, but we are close, okay? So last thing, and this is really the last thing, is if you're willing to increase your voltage a bit, you can increase your PICO ratio. So 55 is very doable, and also I find 48 here is very doable, but you're gonna need a slightly, just, just a little bit more voltage, and uh, I find you're gonna need around 1.2 here, and around 1.1 here. That should be stable, maybe, 1.15 here if you're really unlucky and uh, now the tutorial is really over so please if you watch this far drop a like and subscribe drop a comment by telling us which preset you chose and how it's working for you and i hope to see you guys in another video with maybe another undervolt or maybe a pc build take care bye bye